Hello, everybody. Some words about me. I'm a ship of Gennady, something like Kennedy, ship of Gennady. Yes, from Moscow. I have finished Moscow State University in 1967. And now I am an academician of uh, Academy of Natural Science and PhD. And uh, I am a creator of new physical theory, which called the theory, a, a theory of physical vacuum. Physical vacuum. What is the physical vacuum? Physical vacuum, it is the, is, Five, fifth levels level of reality. Uh, in um, theory of physical vacuum, we have seven levels of the reality. The first level, solid state. We began to study in school and universities and institutes the theory of solid state, how it moves. Uh, it's described by Newton mechanics. Then we began study liquid, then gas, gas, and then elementary particles. All these levels uh, are material uh, represent material world. Uh, it means that before physical vacuum, before now, we always study material world, elementary particles, gas, liquid, and solid. But now, from theory, from equations of physical vacuum, it is, is follows that there is another three levels of reality, which I call the heaven world. Because this is not a material world, not material world. Physical vacuum from uh, modern physics, it is a state, potential state of all types of kind, kinds of matter, all kinds of matter created from physical vacuum. We know that all elementary particles created from physical vacuum. And uh, we have also another level which I call primary torsion field. Uh, with primary torsion field, I will say uh, later about torsion field, primary torsion field, they have no energy at all. All physical fields have energy. We can, um, uh, we can write the ex expression formula from energy, all physical words in material world. But, for primary torsion fields, there is no energy at all, but they can transform information. No energy, no transform energy, but transform information. And I call this level, sup we, will, um, we will call this level super consciousness, super consciousness. And the seven level is absolute nothing. For uh, this level, we have identity zero, identity equal to zero. No any formulas, no any equations for this level. Absolute nothing. But this is the source of all other levels of reality. I, I can prove using equations, for example, began from this level of reality, uh, solid. I can show that all equations of modern physics uh, contain, uh, uh, contain e in the equations of physical vacuum. And equations of physical vacuum, I can show that they equal to equations primary torsion field in a special point of view. Special point of view, you, you, you can show that this level is equal to that level. And uh, I can uh, also show that equations of physical vacuum, 
is equal to identity in a, 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 in some point of view. Maybe this is point of view of God that all uh, these levels uh, is I can show that uh, this is identity zero is equal to zero. Very interesting and very unusual for uh, our physicist material physics. This level is maybe this is a synonym of God. This level we can about this level we can't say nothing because we have such kind of identity. We can say nothing because we have no equation. But everything begin from this level. This level uh, creates all these uh, another levels including material world. Oh, uh, oh, this picture was uh, received uh, on the base of the equations of physical vacuum. Shortly, I can, uh, I show, I can show you uh, equations of physical vacuum, which was introduced by me in 1984. I, I have a book. Uh, I have a book which translated into English, which called it a theory of physical vacuum. And equations of physical vacuum include a set of equations. First, first uh, set of equations is geometrized nonlinear Heisenberg-like equations. Heisenberg, a German physicist who try to create the theory of elementary particle and use some kind of these equations. But this is equations, not is equations of Heisenberg. This is Heisenberg-like equation. And uh, second set of equations, geometries, geometrized Einstein-like equation. This is Einstein-like equations which uh, we this, uh, which we represent in the spinner basis in the spinner basis like uh, do that uh, uh, dirac uh, dirac uh, he represent his equation and spinner basis using spinner representation of equations dirac and then uh, third uh, set of equations geometrized young mills like equations you know that uh, Einstein equations describe gravity, gravitation, uh, but uh, uh, Young Mills equations we use to describing uh, uh, inner structure, inner structure of elementary particles. So, if we have excited vacuum, if we have a particle which created from vacuum, this particle must be de uh, described by nonlinear Heisenberg equations, Einstein-like equations, and young wheels equations in the, mo in the same moment. All these equations described only one particle uh, and describe different properties of elementary particles, quantum properties, uh, gravitational properties, and properties which connect with the inner structure of the elementary particles. What is the equation uh, of physical vacuum? I can, uh, I can solve this equation. Uh, any solution of this equation describe elementary particle. So uh, I can say that this is a uh, equation with, which describe the structure of elementary particle. Solutions. But uh, 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 equations, uh, not solutions, but equations. They describe matrix. Hello, matrix of possibilities. This is a ma matrix of possibilities. Uh, and uh, in vacuum, everything uh, it, it possible. Everything. There are many, many possibilities to create something from vacuum from physical vacuum. I, 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 
I, I can see, I can show you the fluctuation of physical vacuum. For example, uh, vacuum is nothing, is empty, but uh, vacuum is a source of everything. Nothing is everything. You see, this is philosophy of uh, Eastern philosophy. This is Eastern philosophy. Many, many uh, thousand years ago, philosopher of uh, East, they uh, say that uh, uh, that all things uh, of this material world was created from uh, empty, from nothing. And uh, if, for example, if you uh, if you have a, a device which can which can uh, mag which has magnification 10 in power 34. Hello. Do you listen to me? Yes, yes. Because yes, uh, yes. please continue. Yes. Uh, okay. If uh, have mag magnification 10 in power 33, you uh, you can see that I inside of any volume of vacuum. There are many, many processes, of fluctuation. It look, it look like a boiled, uh, boiled soup. You, you, you saw boiled soup. <laughs> and if you have such big magnification, uh, you, you will see boiled soup in each point of physical vacuum. And if you calculate the energy of physical vacuum uh, in any volume uh, using ordinary physical uh, physical representation about physical vacuum, you will receive the infinity. It means that energy of nothing in any point of vacuum uh, is equal to infinity. But there, there is another, another uh, opinion about energy of physical vacuum. It's not only one opinion, but uh, everybody who study quantum physics, they know that the energy of vacuum very, very big. And uh, the, our purpose, our purpose, of course, is how to receive this energy from vacuum how to use this energy. It's a very big problem. Uh, uh, traditional physicists can't solve this, uh, this uh, problem, but uh, uh, the, uh, there are some people in the world now who already solve this uh, problem without uh, education, without without um, knowledge of modern science, they only uh, uh, made it, uh, it, 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 and it's work, I will say about these uh, inventions. Okay, what is the torsion field? And this, this is a picture of, uh, of course, this is uh, uh, approximately, this picture described the properties of torsion field. The torsion field is a turbulence in vacuum. This is a turbulence. We can say about torsion field field like a turbulence of vacuum. The torsion field is a source of all physical fields. First of all, we in this world, we can uh, see the torsion field, and the torsion field then create all physical fields. Torsion field is a source uh, uh, where we can absorb torsion field in, uh, in in daily life. Now daily life, can we absorb torsion field? Yes, we we can. How? Uh, uh, in my uh, my uh, theory, I show that in daily life. Uh, uh, torsion field ma manifests itself uh, by creation of forces of inertia. Forces of inertia uh, in in mechanics. 
maybe uh, there is there are a physicist in this uh, our group uh, and they maybe remember that in mechanics we know four forces for inertia four forces in electrodynamics we know two for forces uh, one is the electrical force another is ma magnetic force but uh, forces of inertia there are four forces of inertia and the source of these forces in classical mechanics it is enigma from newton time from newton time enigma if you will uh, read uh, the textbook on mechanics you will uh, we <laughs> you will f find that uh, different uh, different scientists uh, uh, describe forces of inertia and understand forces of inertia by different way there are many dis discussion about the source of forces of inertia and uh, what is uh, the real or, or non-real this force and so on and uh, it um, it show us that the torsion field which connected it with the forces of inertia uh, uh, before uh, before physicists uh, cannot uh, cannot uh, uh, explain and cannot observe torsion field they they, they we first uh, first we know about torsion field from mathematics because in um, 1922 french mathematician elie cartan uh, published a, an article where he said that uh, we have no, not only curvature of the space uh, like uh, uh, said Einstein, Albert, Albert, Albert Einstein said that our oh, space-time is curved. The space-time around of a mass is curved. But, uh, uh, but uh, Elie Cartan said that not only uh, curved, but twisted, twisted and curved. And uh, torsion or twist, uh, twisted, it means to there is torsion field. That torsion is a so uh, the uh, um, source of torsion is rotation of a matter. If something has rotation, something some kind of matter has rotation, it is it means that it is a source of torsion field. For example, if you rotate something for. Um, uh, something you feel uh, no for for example meta metallic ball on the needle you rotate and you will feel the force of centrifugal force of inertia no no this is Boris no this is electrodynamics uh, uh, now I will uh, okay Boris no 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 this no this no 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 Oh, what well, this one, for example, you see, this is uh, English uh, uh, investigator, lightweight, Eric lightweight. You you can see he he has very big weight, maybe tw tw twenty kilograms on a metal road, and uh, these discs, two discs, they rotate. When this rotates, he can uh, he can uh, up this uh, weight over his hand. If no rotate, he can't do that. Very interesting. It means that uh, weight depend on the rotation. When weight weight of these discs depend on rotation. Okay, thank you. No, no, not now. This is another rotation, not now, okay. And on this slide, 
I should like uh, to say to you that who are we? We the answer is we are highly, highly, highly organized vacuum. Yes, because physical vacuum create elementary particles, quark, protons, electrons, neutrons, and so on. They uh, from this elementary particle uh, created nucleus atoms, molecules, DNA, and the end of uh, this chain is, uh, chain is uh, life. It means that we are, we are highly organized vacuum. We are vacuum. Very interesting point on view. We consist from nothing, but <laughs> we... <laughs> Uh, we uh, something like uh, a very very uh, highly organized uh, organized uh, vacuum, but uh, it not uh, it it not uh, correct to think that uh, uh, our consciousness is the last level on the scale of consciousness. No. Our consciousness uh, may be in the middle of this scale. There is a scale of consciousness, and we we uh, on the uh, on the middle of this scale. Maybe I don't know correctly. Now I I will list and I will say it in the next time about this. This is a uh, uh, this is. A, uh, about this is uh, about uh, I will say the next time about influence of our consciousness on the real physical uh, world. There are many experimental data, and there are uh, uh, now we have uh, a theoretical theoretical foundation for this phenomena. And I should like to say about physics. First of all, <clears throat> I should like to say about uh, the torsion nature of mass. Torsion nature of mass. Uh, I, I said before that torsion is the source of all physical fields. Um, and uh, I compare this representation of Newton, Einstein, and myself, and what said Newton about mass? Mass. Mass is a measure of the amount of matter. However, one could also state mass is measure of a body resistance to the motion on a, or a change of motion. This is point of view of uh, Newton. But uh, after Newton, uh, Einstein said mass is an energy, and he he wrote the formula E is equal E is equal m c square. But now, now oh, this is my formula black shrift. You can see black shrift. This is my formula, and from this formula it is follows that mass is a torsion of the space. Uh, this formula received from equation of vacuum T, with, uh, which we can see here. It is a torsion field square and torsion field. This is deriv de derivatives of torsion field. And this formula show us that the uh, mass depends on the rotation because torsion field is rotation. Torsion field is a rotation of uh, or uh, rotation or a twi twisted uh, twi um, torsion. Torsion it means rotation, of course. Torsion is a source of any mass. It means, for example. If we stop the rotation in our body, 
because what, what we are consist from. You can represent that we consist uh, from elementary particles of coal. Element, elementary particles, uh, they have a, so they have a spin on rotation. We call it spin. All elementary particles, all, all, almost all elementary particles ha, have a spin. What uh, it mean, uh, many of elementary particles inside our body charged. It means that we all consist from charged gyroscope. We are consist from charged gy gyroscope. Gyroscopes. Um, and uh, if we stop the rotation of these gyroscopes inside our body, what happens? We will disappear. And not only we, everything, everything, every solid, uh, every stones, every trees, everything uh, will uh, disappear if we will stop the rotation inside of this body. In, inside of this object. It follows from this formula, and I say in this case, mass is the torsion of the space. No torsion, no mass. No torsion, no charge. No torsion, not, no nothing. Torsion, uh, this is the source of all kind of matter. And uh, how we can prove that energy or mass depend on the uh, angular velocity. I show this using uh, this uh, denotation that mass depend on the angular velocity. <laughs> Time for relaxing. <laughs> this picture was created by me, of course. Uh, this is a small joke. Gennady generalized my formula e c square. S, e, e, energy is equal mi omega, this is omega, C square. Yes, master, I simply followed your ideas. Yes, it's true because when I finished university, I began, I began to study works of Einstein and, <coughs> and uh, I, uh, my uh, my uh, scientific work was to to solve the problems which was uh, formulated by Einstein in the beginning class la last century. Uh, uh, but main problem of Einstein was to create uh, of unified field theory. Unified field theory. What it means? It means that we must to find a such kind of uh, equations which include include uh, 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 all equations of uh, physics. You have only one set on, of equations from which all equations of physics follows in limit uh, in, in limit in different uh, uh, different cases. Uh, and now I know that the uh, equations of physical vacuum, it is uh, equations of unified field theory, which Einstein tried to fight during 30 years of his life, from from uh, uh, from uh, uh, 1933 maybe. To the uh, to the 1955, no, 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 1920, 22, 25 to the 1935 uh, when he uh, this, uh, he he is dead. If he tried to find these equations, and now uh, I can say, I can say that these equations was found, and this is equations of physical vacuum. A physical vacuum, so this, the, this is new physical object, very complicated, 
a very um, unusual and uh, uh, the equation of this uh, object contained many many new laws of nature which we don't know before uh, to to show dependence mass on the gyroscopic precession uh, uh, uh Boris, please show show me show me this uh, this film uh, this film once more this film okay uh, you can uh, see the rotation of two discs 20 kilo and uh, maybe 10 kilo the the uh, the road all all together 30 kilo maybe i don't know correctly but this not very strong uh, a person uh, can can show us such uh, <laughs> such picture he said that th this is not true true tr this is scientific fact this is not true this is scientific fact uh, when the rotation uh, stop he can do that now you can you can see the scale the scale uh, here one end is a uh, weight another way uh, and is a gyroscope here is gyroscope now gyroscope and weight in equilibrium the man now rotate gyroscope and you can see that the weight of gyroscope changes. Weight of gyroscope changes. He rotates uh, clockwise. He lo see? Now he will rotate it anti clockwise. And you can see that uh, uh, weight now uh, uh, less than the weight now weight of gyroscope less than the weight weight of this weight on the other hand uh, uh, other side of of the scale. You can see it. It proves uh, to us that the mass depend on the angular velocity of rotation of gyroscope okay thank you now no, no rotation of gyroscope and uh, scale uh, stay in uh, equilibrium state next this show us what is the precision of gyroscope the precision very interesting phenomena gyroscope rotates on the end on the one end of axis of rotation we have a weight in this case we can observe the um, precession of gyroscope if we have no weight uh, gyroscope will will not pre have a precession you have no rotation around of this is x axis okay <laughs> this this is also uh, uh show us the precession of gyroscope on in the gravitational field station of gyroscope but in thailand Maybe no. Maybe uh, maybe you will show us uh, will show us the uh, uh, what uh, the picture uh, where we measure the weight of gyroscope in, on the scale. No, no, this, no, this. Ah, this one. Okay, okay. You, you can see this is a scale 
very precisely you can uh, you can measure the weight very uh, precisely pre sign after uh, after coma now we uh, the the uh, i don't know can you see the weight of uh, on this scale but uh, you can see the scale uh, the uh, the uh, weight of the gyroscope before rotation 46.45 and when it's rotate we can observe 46.3 Zero point fifteen grams, we lose uh, a weight. This gyroscope lost a weight zero point fifteen grams when we have rotation. It also uh, show us dependence of mass on rotation inside of this system. Uh, in, uh, in this case, we we uh, we have a weight of the system. This is support of gyroscope. This is gyroscope. All together, the weight is 46.48, but when it rotates, the weight is 46.3. You lose the weight. On this film, we can show. I don't know, Boris. Uh, the uh, you everybody see this small screen. Everybody see this small screen. Okay. <laughs> yes, this is a uh, this is a generator of uh, John Hutchison. John Hutchison creates such kind of generator which can control the rotation inside some objects. If you can control the rotation of elementary particles, uh, uh, nucleus, inside of a, uh, any bodies, you, you can uh, made, it, uh, made it flying like this. In this case, uh, you, if you can control, they can levitate and uh, this is <laughs> yes but th th this is also electrodynamic no stop stop please stop please no no this is electrodynamics already no please stop when i have been in thailand it was in 2000 i developed the work of one very very Clever, very smart uh, Russian engineer, uh, Tolchin, Vladimir Tolchin. And he created <coughs> a device. <coughs> no, stop. He created a device which can, which demonstrate us violation of laws of uh, Newton mechanics. Violation of laws of Newton mechanics. And then I <coughs> I, uh, I made more complicated device of Tolchin. Uh, and uh, on this film, please, this film, Boris, this film, <coughs> show me, not this, before, universal, universal engine. It's called universal engine. <coughs> no, no. It's called universal engine. <coughs> this one, yes, okay, okay, okay. This boat. In this boat inside, we have a device which was uh, created by Tolchin, and <coughs> bolt from the. Le oh, okay, okay, repeat please, yes. Boat is suspended on the needle. Boat, first of all, boat suspended on the needle. 
which uh, which connected with the with the cut on the rail. Once more, please. You can see here cut needle in the rail, uh, rail. and uh, inside of this <coughs> boat, when uh, when this engine works, you can see that uh, cut is m moves moves on the rail, uh, uh, moves on the rail. Very simple the, the engine, very simple, <coughs> and we have it have a trust. In this case, we uh, put the boat on the cart, and it moves on the horizontal surface. And in this case, we put a boat suspended. <clears throat> on the cart, on, on the uh, horizontal, horizontal surface. And in the pool, put in the pool, it moves. And we use only one type of engine. Only this is universal engine. <clears throat> it means that we uh, we use this engine in the space. We can move in the space without jet engine. This is a <clears throat> model which I created in Thailand, which controlled by computer. It's connection with the computer. We have a program. Inside there is a electrical motor which can control the rotation of weights inside of this semisphere. We can we can control using this uh, uh, this uh, computer program, and you can see that uh, this uh, this device moves only forward, only forward. On the surface, on the glass surface, this is a glass surface, <clears throat> which covered by oil, by oil, to show that the forces of fric friction forces don't play any role in this process. We use uh, glass, uh, we use glass surface covered by by oil. And it mean it means that the forces of uh, uh, that it uh, without <coughs> no sorry <laughs> forgot about what is the forces <laughs> силы трения грубо говоря они не играют здесь никакой роли <coughs> okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I see here now. I can uh, I can change the picture because I'll upload. Uh, because I ah uh, okay. Okay, okay, now it's okay. What is the practical application of this kind of devices? Uh, this kind of uh, space engine. <clears throat> First of all, of course, uh, flying to the flying to the uh, other planet of solar system. You can use it for. Uh, uh, flying to the uh, pl planet of summer system, flying to the stars, orbit station, orbit uh, Sputniki, orbit station. Uh, also in in the plane, in the ordinary plane, in, in the atmosphere, in the cars, flying car, for example. Uh, in the ships uh, which moves uh, on the water and under water in submarines and so many many applications we can uh, use uh, 
you, uh, with help of this uh, new kind of engine. <coughs> okay. What presentation would you like to share? Uh, Boris, uh, this is your, <laughs> your picture. I, I, I see the picture on the screen. What presentation would you like to share? Uh, oh, okay, now. Now I will say about electrodynamics, about torsion field. Yes, you, 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 you understand uh, that uh, before I say about, uh, about torsion field, which <coughs> created by rotation of uh, material objects, weights, and uh, these uh, generate new kind of forces which act on the center of mass of closed system, mechanical system, and we will use the torsion field in this case for creation new kind of engine for motion in the space. <coughs> But now I will say about torsion fields in electrodynamics. Torsion fields electro in electrodynamics. Uh, in uh, uh, 1970, uh, during 10 years in Russia, there was invite, in, uh, invented uh, different by different people different kinds of so-called torsion generator here i represent you uh, generators uh, or torsion generators by akimo this is small torsion generator this is a big torsion generator this is a uh, inside structure of torsion generator uh, i explain how how it works inside of two cones this is we can see only one cone on the, on the another side you you can see another cone uh, this cone uh, uh, created from cupor cuprum 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 yes and inside of this cone we have a capacitor between plates of this capacitor displaced ferromagnetic. You know what is ferromagnetic? This is magnet, or not to only magnet, only, for example, only iron, few iron is ferromagnetic. And when we, uh, when we use alternative, alternative uh, electricity on the plates of capacitor we we can control the orientation of spin inside of uh, ferromagnetic between plates of capacitor you can control electrically by electrically uh, electrical <coughs> signal we can control orientation spins inside of ferromagnetic inside of this cone cone is landed in this case electromagnetic field uh, can't <coughs> transform through the wall of the cone can transform they uh, they can uh, transform only inside of this cone but Torsion field can transform through the wall of this uh, uh, this cone, and uh, there is uh, wires wires one two and so on uh, on the <coughs> on this on this uh, on this cone, and they wire con co connect. Uh, uh, connect uh, summarized torsion field which radiate on the um, azimut, uh, azimut uh, of this generator. Azimut of this generator 
uh, we can observe the torsion field, which uh, summarized, and on the exit of this uh, generator, we have a torsion field. We can use only one wire to transmit this torsion field from generator, for example, to antenna. Antenna represents himself also uh, um, cone. We can use cone uh, on, uh, and this cone is antenna. We can <coughs> uh, use this generator from different physical experiments. For example, this small generator Maybe the, he, he used the energy of battery inside of this generator, battery, battery uh, five, five watt maybe, no, not the nine, five watt. This is antenna, yes? And uh, Anatoly Akimov, when he <clears throat> uh, have a, a trip uh, in different uh, towns of Russia, he before he dr they drink the water in this place, he put a gla glass with the water, and uh, near the, this glass he put generator. Generator can create left and right torsion field. Torsion field have 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 two has two uh, orientations orientations left and right and after many many <coughs> experiments we know that left torsion field left torsion field have a uh, bad influence of the biological object but right torsion field have <coughs> a positive influence of the biological object and Akimov put this uh, near this uh, this uh, generator glass with water. Switch switch on right torsion field, and after some minutes, drink this water. <laughs> Always in the, I I I I saw this uh, many many times. How we can use, uh, yes, how we can use torsion uh, field using torsion generator? No, 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 previous, this previous. Oh, this one, yes. No, 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 previous. No. <laughs> uh oh, yeah. This is a joke also. You for it is possible. <laughs> this is Einstein like um, Thai, Thai people. This is a national clutter of Thai people. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. This one, this picture. No, 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 no. This picture, okay. This picture. This is a uh, people of uh, Akimov and uh, my because uh, we we uh, uh, we give we give a generator in uh, in Perm University town Perm uh, in Russia town Perm University. Uh, we give some people from this university torsion generator, and also we uh, and uh, uh, before we told them about uh, influence of torsion generator on the melting um, melted metal. When we have a mel melted metal, we switch on torsion radiation. We know the frequency uh, which specify for this metal, for silumin, silumin, for iron, for steel, and so on. 
there are uh, special frequencies which can we use using the, this torsion generator. When uh, metal began uh, began be, began became colder, began began receive crystallization after influence of torsion radiation, we can observe that the crystal lattice crystal lattice of this metal was changed. Crystal lattice was changed, uh, and uh, we. <laughs> also observe that uh, we can receive uh, metal without crystal lattice at all, so-called amorphic metal. Maybe you know that uh, for receiving uh, amorphic metal uh, in ordinary technologies used very quickly, uh, uh, very quickly uh, cold, cold change, very quickly changes the uh, temperature from high temperature to the uh, room temperature very quick. In this case, we can receive amorphic metal, but in our case, we can receive amorphic metal with, uh, without uh, changing the temperature of metal. It's very interesting. And uh, if the ordinary methods can uh, uh, you can receive only on the so on the surface. Uh, uh, you can receive the uh, amorphic metal on this only on the surface, maybe the one two millimeter. Uh, in our case, we can receive uh, in all volume of the metal. Uh, this uh, this man this man using this uh, torsion generator uh, it, it it his name is uh, kupatov kurapov uh, they use this device which uh, uh, which uh, power is only 120 watt 120 watt the power of this device and they they uh, received 9,500 ton very uh, very high quality steel from iron without uh, any additional metals which we can use for this process in ordinary technologies. One 9,500 Hundred ton. It's very, it's very big quantity. Very big quantity of metal by uh, using the torsion technology. Okay. And uh, also in Thailand, when I was in Thailand in uh, 2000, uh, uh, 2005. I decided to repeat uh, works of uh, Nikola Tesla uh, using uh, using uh, uh, the articles of Nikola Tesla, he, his patents, and so on. And I I create a, a generator Tesla generator Tesla. A transformer, a transformer, Tesla transformer, but very important that from theory of physical vacuum, I find new kind of radiation, new kind of radiation you can see here on the film, you can see uh, in film, you can see this radiation uh, which contain the, um, uh, this radiation uh follows follows from the equation of physical vacuum so called scalar radiation we know now we know equation maxwell equations here you can see on the movie that a uh, uh, single wire uh, single wire and part of single wire is uh, water this is you can see radiation 
uh, radiation loss from equations of physical vacuum. What it means, scalar radiation? You know that uh, from Maxwell equation, we have radiation of electromagnetic fields, E and H, which are which are uh, 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 vector fields, H vector magnetic fields and E electromagnetic fields. But scalar field, there is no in uh, Maxwell equation. I think that this is a reason why Einstein can't uh, understand, could not understand works of uh, Nikola Tesla. Because uh, Einstein use, uh, used Maxwell equations, which not contain scalar radiation. And only now I can show mathematically, physically, that uh, Maxwell equation is not complete. Maxwell equation is not complete. complete. They don't uh, contain scalar radiation. And when we began investigating what it is the scalar radiation, what it means, what the physical nature of scalar radiation, and uh, uh, <clears throat> the answer on this question is the scalar radiation, this is a pair of electrons. This is so-called so Cooper pair. Uh, Cooper pair we can observe in superconductivity when two electrons with different spin and different momentum can join joint uh, and create uh, can can attract to each other and join and create so-called Cooper pair in superconductivity. It's very interesting. Um, but we know that superconductivity needs very low temperature, very low. <laughs> and when we <clears throat> began to understand that scalar radiation, here is scalar radiation, you can see. Sp scalar radiation is a Cooper pair, Cooper pair. Well, we began to... Uh, to <clears throat> We we try to find the temperature. We can we try to measure the temperature of the uh, of the discharge of Cooper pair, um, and uh, this is formula. You can see also formula the, for scalar radiation, which use uh, <clears throat> of course Nikola Tesla, but he don't know about this theoretical explanation of his uh, phenomena. Uh, this is S is uh, radiation, uh, scalar radiation, omega. It is a frequency, voltage, V is voltage, R, R is the radius of sphere. Tesla used sphere, or, and R the distance from point of observation uh, from center of sphere to the point of observation C is the uh, velocity of light. Uh, this is uh, E0 e is a uh, uh, constant, vacuum constant, uh, and uh, omega, this is a frequency, of course, I said already, uh, uh, the <clears throat> alternative current which uh, we used in uh, Tesla transformer. What What is the interesting, I say, said already that, first of all, this we have radiation, no electromagnetic field in Tesla, uh, Tesla case of Tesla experiment. But Cooper pair, electrons, pair of electrons, which connected it each other, they have uh, the charge two equal to two charge of electrons, but uh, they they are a scalar field. They are not vector field, not spinner field, because spins of electrons are um, 
they compensate each other and momentum momentum of electron compensate each other but when we have a charge uh, it means that in the electromagnetic field it moves it moves uh, because we have two charges and i said also that um, it, uh, the, the Cooper pair appear in the superconductivity with the low temperature, and we decided to measure the temperature of Tesla radiation. You see, what is the measure of the uh, Tesla radiation? And for these purposes, we use magic sphere. I don't know, no, no here. Magic sphere, sorry. Magic sphere, it, it, oh, it, oh, um, as some, somebody uh, call it, call it Tesla sphere. Maybe here you can see Tesla sphere. Uh, uh, Boris, Boris, uh, Boris. Do you listen to me, Varis? Yeah. Varis, yeah. yeah. oh, change, uh, change, please. Uh, show me another. There are different uh, another movies. Uh, show me, please. Where is sphere? So, so. No, 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 no. This, no this. This is one uh, uh, single wire using the part of single wire is a water. You can see what uh, like super properties of super superconductivity. Yes, another another. I I should like to see a uh, magic. Oh, here here you can see here on this. I explain. Uh, I explain. Uh, Tesla uh, radiation. This picture, but yes, wait, wait. Now I will say about Tesla sphere. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe what here Tesla sphere. Here. Uh, I I I see very small screen. <laughs> I see I don't see the sphere of Tesla. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yes, this one, this one. Oh, you can see now. You can see inside of this sphere. You can see the needle created by Cooper pair. You can see the needle, uh, lighting needle created by Cooper pair. You can see. And uh, when we measure the temperature, or oh, you can see here, yes, very good, very good. Here is the needle from Cooper pair. Cooper pair. And we measure the temperature using. Uh, uh, the uh, using uh, uh, thermo thermo uh, thermometer without touching without touching to the uh, and we found that the temperature of this super uh, pair uh, the temperature is equal to minus thirty. Six degrees of uh, Celsius minus uh, this is negative temperature on Celsius. Nobody before uh, do, do, do not uh, measure the temperature of the plasma of te uh, which we received from Tesla uh, Tesla <clears throat> discharge. Uh, I know that somebody say about cold plasma cold plasma it means 60 degrees of celsius c but we found 
negative temperature in this case. And uh, then we change the uh, device which uh, which measure the temperature without contact, without touch, without touch. And we use the device uh, which show us the temperature minus 90 degrees of Celsius. C. Minus 90 degrees. First time 30, minus 36, uh, then minus 90 degrees. And this work not finished, of course, but we uh, now um, try to receive the pat patent on this phenomena. And uh, 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 it uh, uh, tell us that uh, um, Tesla, okay, that Tesla, Tesla uh, uh, creates uh, such kind of devices, such kind of phenomena uh, experimentally, uh, which don't described by equations of Maxwell electrodynamics. Um, hello, everybody. Boris, maybe, maybe yeah. for for first time it is enough because uh, we I always I, I already say about one hour and fifteen minutes about and maybe I will uh, make answer on the questions and uh, we'll uh, we'll continue in the next time my report all okay. attendees are unmuted okay, okay. so uh we we have turned on the microphones for everybody if yeah. uh, somebody wants to ask uh, any question dr shipov is available now for for 15 minutes at least to to answer Okay. Okay. We we had something like uh, sixteen people coming and going. We still have left Donavi, Petr, and Victor. Most uh, of them, I think, they speak Russian. Okay. Okay. Victor, <laughs> please ask me something. <laughs> Victor, задавайте вопросы, не стесняйтесь. Um, не стесняйтесь, задавайте вопросы, я отвечу. So, um, uh... Вот он кто-то написал, ничего не понимаю на английском. Ну, это наш Казахстан. <laughs> Казахстан, да, 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 да. <laughs> ну, ну вот большинство все-таки что-то хоть понимали по-английски. Ну, к сожалению, я могу, конечно, по-русски, но а надо все-таки уже такой международный пока язык. Пока. Мы должны это следовать этому. <laughs> ну, господа, кто-нибудь спросите что-нибудь меня по-русски или по-английски, please. Question, please. I have uh, one question un until uh, somebody appears with another one. Um, this uh, video of uh, Tesla radiation, uh, can can I uh, put this to our uh, institute page so that people can uh, look at this? Just this yes, one video, Tesla is Lucini. Okay. Yes. I will put uh, your your address your your address on the on the video as well. Yes, you can. You can use all my materials because okay. it belongs not me, it belongs to you. Your and line is now muted. everybody. And it's not only my uh, my uh, investigations it is, it is fu fundamental things this is not special commercial product 
Yes, if if I made uh, any special commercial product, of course no, but it is a general physics. This belong to all people, to all people. Okay, and uh, one uh, one uh, very interesting thing that is uh, uh, coming forward is the uh, single wire transmission research that is uh, being uh, done. And uh, there are uh, uh, some uh, people pointing out that uh, uh, the single wire transmission, uh, the resonance line, uh, which was invented by Tesla, is uh, near a superconductivity. Yes, th this connected. B b uh, I can say more. Uh, this connected with the vacuum because. Uh, for me, for me, the picture of uh, trans uh, transmission of electro electrical energy uh, is that uh, a round of single wire, the vacuum is excited by, uh, is excited, vacuum excited, and uh, transmission in, in transmission but participate not only electrons of single wire, but first of all, electrons of vacuum. Uh, because uh, you, you, uh, the space time, the space time around of uh, wire is curved and twisted. You see, this is not already flat space time. We uh, we always think that uh, the transmission of electromagnetic energy uh, uh, for transmission we we need in electron which displaced inside of wire. Yes, the, uh, the current is the moving uh, of electron inside of wire. But in the case of Tesla, Tesla, we can uh, observe the electro electrons outside of wire outside of wire and uh, tesla uh, from in one of his work he say he said that uh, i <coughs> i transmit electrical energy not uh, using by using uh, electron electromagnetic wave but he said that in this process, uh, uh, a very important role, role play vacuum. He call it call, call it ether ether ether. ether yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He call it ether. The ether play. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I I think that. Um, Tesla works connected with the superconductivity. This is superconductivity. But superconductivity in modern, in more, uh, ordinary physics in uh, 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 connected with the low temperature, with the temperature minus minus 20 and so on. But uh, there is a superconductivity with the room temperature. In the room, as we have a room temperature and we have superconductivity, it, and this is a Tesla case. Yes, thank you, Gennady. This this uh, opens a lot uh, uh, our knowledge about uh, uh, the essence of Tesla wireless transmission, and yeah. uh, uh, it is the basis of the science of the third millennium. And more and more uh, uh, people are opening up to understand uh, uh, the true, the true uh, basics of, of Tesla research and the yeah. fallacies of electromagnetic theory uh, in physics. Yes, you are right. Thank you, every. Uh, thank you much for everybody. Thank you for your attention. And uh, we will continue the next time, okay? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.